Do you ever go out for a long run and by the end of it you feel like you're tailing off a bit and you, you're struggling to keep the pace and you think it's probably a lack of fitness? Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you it may not be that. It might just be because you're not doing the last mile fastest. So I'm out with my base running crew this morning. Ceiling. And the idea of the fastest last mile came from an article I read by a guy called Matt Fitzgerald. It's a really interesting concept. Now this all came about after Matt had an athlete that no matter what he did when he sent her out on a long run, no matter what pace he asked her to run at, she would always fade away towards the ends of the runs and it wouldn't matter if he'd ask her to go at the lowest pace she possibly could, there would still be a fade and we couldn't work out why that was happening and it wasn't anything to do with her aerobic fitness. I'll catch you up. So, Matt racked his brain, and if it wasn't anything to do with cardiovascular endurance, then surely it had to be something to do with pacing. And he decided to introduce the concept of fastest last mile to his athlete, in which you have to complete your last mile at faster than any other mile that you've done on your long run. And it doesn't have to be significantly faster, it just has to be faster, like second. And the theory behind that goes, but if you already know at the start of your long run that you're gonna need to pull out a last mile fastest, then you instantly change the way you look at your pacing of your run because we all go out, let's be honest, we all go out early doors with a little bit of exuberance and a little bit of excitement and we may overdo it in the early stages, I certainly do in races. But if I already know I'm gonna have to run my last mile at my fastest or the fastest, that changes the way I look at it all and guess what? It works, because you have that concept in your head. What a great idea by Matt. And we're gonna see if this works for us today on our long run. We've just done 16K, and the last kilometer for us is gonna be hopefully the fastest. We're nearly a kilometer from home now, so it's about to happen. Shouldn't be too hard, actually. We just need to run sub five, because it's been a lovely long base run. The only thing making this a bit of a challenge is it's uphill, so you've got to push that extra bit, but I think we've got enough in the tank. Really? Good, I like the idea of finishing on a high. Yeah, that's a good point. And relax. It's fine. The other point of this is teaching Mary to not worry too much about the numbers, and if we get home, 200 meters before we thought we would, it doesn't matter. It's the concept that matters of just pushing it in that last mile or kilometer. Right, Mary? So competitive.